EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports is in the game! Arr! NCAA Football 2005. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. That's where these two teams are set to do battle. Stadium Poncho sales are at a peak with all this rain. For our contest tonight between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. And here come the Demon Deacons. Everybody. Brad Nessler along with Kirk Kerbstreet and Lee Corso. And what a game we've got in store for you today as two rivals are about to go at it for state bragging rights. The Tar Heel are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Well, I think you're right about that, and I'll tell you why. Wake Forest looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. And another thing... North Carolina does not have the talent up front defensively to stop their running game. Kirk, the only way they have a chance to win this game is to force turnovers. Even then, I don't think it's going to be enough for them to win. Wake Forest lines up for the kickoff. Number two and number six deep to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number two takes it at the eight. <laughs> he couldn't find any open field at all there. You know, Brad, he looked kind of confused, like he didn't know where he was going from the start. It's first and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. High formation here. They get it out there on the top. Tackle. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 19. Number four is back in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking down the middle. And it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. You gotta relax and just make a good throw. Third and nine. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Tar Heel have five receivers on this play. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going right. It falls incomplete. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding. On the offense. The pillar is the five. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 45 gets it off. Number 82 fields at the 44. Now we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Number 28 lines up as a single back. Handoff. He jukes him. He spins around. Sheds a tackler. They'll bring him down. What a huge run. Remember, this kid can fly. You saw in that run how he just took off and left everybody else looking like they got lead in their shoes. Right. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. From the gun. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. This is an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> they were having none of that, my friend. Wake Forest comes out with two tight ends. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. It's tipped. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Third and 14. Ball on the 40. The Deacons line up in an eye formation. Looking. He's got a throw in a hurry. And he's going to come up with a sack. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 81 boots it way up there. Number 14 signals for a fair catch, and he can't hang on to the ball. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. It's first and 10. They're inside the 20. Number 28 is the deep back, and they line up in the eye. Brought down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 15. This offense has a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. Back to pass. Looks. Rolls to the right. Under pressure. He gets the pass away. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. The Tar Heel line up with six defensive backs. Here's a pitch left side. He steps out. Big, big gain on that one. Yeah, that's a big first down, too. Just keep moving those sticks and wear down that defense. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Play action. Throws this one out to the left. And he dropped it. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, Coach. Nowadays, tight end's gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. They've got about 100 tight ends in there for this goal line play. Tosses it up to the end zone. Same result after that throw. They just can't complete one. Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. They'll keep it on the ground again. And they make the stop. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up. And he got it. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary.
and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it's a short kickoff. Number six takes from the 10. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet, quickly! Wake Forest comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And down he goes! Number 44 with the carry. Five-yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 27. The Deacon line up in a nickel back. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws this one out to the right. Someone got a hand on it. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Wake Forest has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Got it to his receiver. That will be enough for the first down. Well, you talk about a sharp pass. That was a nice throw right there. Kirk, wasn't that a nice catch? <sighs> first and ten. Ball on their own 34. The Tar Heel go with the eye formation. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. Wake Forest lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back, steps up in the pocket, across the middle, got it to his receiver. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. Number four lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up, across the middle, couldn't haul it in. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. It's second down and 10 to go, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. The defense lines up with six DB. Setting up the play action, throws this one out to the right, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, North Carolina! Look at that. For a second there, I could have scored that back at the football. Beautiful play. Yeah, I don't know if it was the offensive coordinator, the head coach, or just the quarterback checking off, but my hat goes off to whoever called that play. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. One's a short kick. Number nine fields it at the 11. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. Number 17 is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking, and he throws it away. 
He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 28. Number 28 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. There's a play fake. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Tar Heel line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. He steps up, looks, across the middle. It's deflected. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going, and it's safe to say that's the case as he had zero completion. Fourth and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 81 gets it off. Number two fields it at the 37. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll go to work at the 38-yard line. Wake Forest brings in the nickel here. That snap from center, wants to throw a screen. And it's gone, tackle. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. 10 yard penalty, still He grabbed him there. Those kind of penalties are the ones that drive coaches crazy and make them turn red. That's a 10 yard penalty that doesn't need to be committed. After a quarter of play, our score is North Carolina, seven, Wake Forest, three. First and long, ball on the 28-yard line. North Carolina comes out with an eye formation, and he's taken down. Couldn't get anything out of that. No on the play. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Wake Forest has all their DBs in for this five wide set. And it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 28. Wake Forest. Put six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. He's looking. Pressure coming. He's drilled as he throws. Complete. And they make the stop. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 45 gets it off. Number 82 fields it at the 26. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. They'll take over at the 31. Take over at the 31-yard line. First and 10. The Demon Deacon line up in the Maryland Eye formation. He's got an opening. And they push him out. A big game for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss play. First and 10, ball on their own 42. Wake Forest lines up in the Maryland eye. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. There's a missed tackle. They'll drop him for a loss. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense no or any worse the for the offense. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 42. 
Wake Forest sets up in the eye. Keep it on the ground again. A little juke. Brought down. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing-ending ones. It's third down and three to go. Ball right around midfield. North Carolina lines up in a dime defense here. They go with the run, and they got him for a loss. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. They come out in a punt formation. Number 81 boots it way up there. Number two takes it to 14. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First and 10. Ball on the 14. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Across the middle. Got it to his receiver. Good yardage there, and that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 28. The Demon Deacon. Line up in a nickel back. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He rolls out to the right. Under heavy pressure. Somehow gets the ball away. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. The defense lines up with six DB. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number four comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. He lobs it out to the left side. And the big fellow with some room. And he's tackled. Wake Forest takes a timeout. And they're ready to pump this one away. He gets it off. Number 82, back deep to return. Number 82, fields at the 31. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. First and 10. Number 17, lines up in the shotgun. Batted ball. And it's knocked away. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Second and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 34. Number 17 is back in the gun. Back to pass. Across the middle. And got it complete. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and ten. 
Ball on their own 47. Wake Forest lines up in a shotgun set. Looks. He's under pressure. He passes it. And it's caught. And they make the stop. They get five yards on the play. Five yard gain on the play. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. The Deacon set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Down the middle. Finds his receiver. And they tackle him. Wake Forest calls a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. The Deacon come out in the ace formation. Looking. Down the middle. It's tipped. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number 17 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. And it's complete for the touchdown. My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter and our score is Wake Forest 10, North Carolina 7. Number 93, ready to kick. Number six, back to return. Here's the kick. Number two, fields it at the 11. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll set up shot at the 28-yard line. North Carolina comes out with an eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safety, but credit the big guys up front for that play. Number four is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks. He's looking for his man. And that one's fallen incomplete. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Wake Forest 10, North Carolina 7. North Carolina got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 82 takes it the 14. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. 
They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. Number 28, alone in the backfield. Rifles it over the middle. Got it. And they tackle him. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Number 17 with three wide receivers. And off to the fullback. And he's taken down. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Deacon set up in the gun. Back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Incomplete. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 34. The Tar Heel line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. That close to being intercepted. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. Fourth and a long shot. They need this pass. He's looking. He gets rid of it. Got it. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. Huge play on fourth down. That was a sensational call. It sure was here, guys. Usually on fourth down, you have the receiver run just enough yards to get to the marker. The defense here was looking for that. Right over their heads for the big play. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Play action to the end zone. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Back to pass. Over the middle. Touchdown, Wake Forest. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double team him. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score, Wake Forest, 17, North Carolina, 7. Number 93, ready to kick. Kicks it off. Number two, takes from the 10. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's going to air it long. And it's caught. 
He's all the way down to the 39-yard line. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Tar Heel go with the I formation. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Here they come. Rolls right. And they get the sack. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there, and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Second and long, ball on the 46-yard line. The Tar Heel come out in the ace formation. Number 25 is the single setback. He's going right. And that one's fallen incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Thank the answers, kid. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 46. Wake Forest with six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Drop back to pass. He'll dump this one off. Batted ball. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He punts this one high in the air. Number 27 calls for the fair catch. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman, get more pressure on that quarterback, please. They'll bring in their dime package. Throws it to the outside. And it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and 10, ball on their own 19. 19 yard line. On the ground with the tail He's hit and got away, and down he goes. A gain of six. Gain of six on the play. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. There's the play fake. Throws this one out to the right. Got it. They'll bring him down. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert it third and long, it just makes them sick. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Demon Deacon set up in the gun. Up the middle. And they make the stop. About eight yards there. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 43. Wake Forest lines up in a double tight set. They hand it off. And down he goes. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Third and short, and they hand it off. And he's taken down. Now they stuck with a run, and it pays off for him. You know what, Brad? So important on third down to rely on the offensive line to get a good push, and that's what they did there to pick up the first down.
First and 10, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Number 17 is back in the gun. On the ground, up the middle, and he's tackled. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten, and this is the eighth play of the drive. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Wake Forest, 17, North Carolina, 7. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39. The Tar Heel bring in the nickel package. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Offside, home of defense. Five yard penalty, still That'll move them forward. And they're loving it. Anytime you can get three yards, you'll take it. Second down and five. Ball on the 34 yard line. He can run. They'll bring him down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. Five yards. Five yard gain on the play. Second down and five. This is the tenth play of this drive. And they got him for a loss. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. North Carolina comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Throws to the middle, finds his receiver, and he's taken down. These guys are marching down the field, Kirk. I think this defense is getting tired. I think you're right. They look a little fatigued. But when you continue to give up first downs on third down, you're doing a lot for your confidence. I'll tell you something. They need to take the intensity that is working on first and second downs and save some for third down because they're just getting outworked. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. to do tackle four yard gain by the back gain of four on the play they're crowding the line Keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. This is what you call a run blitz. The key is quickly penetrate and disrupt the running back, not allowing him to follow his blockers. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Nice play fake, under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did, and Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. They're 
going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up. And it's right down the middle. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Wake Forest, ready to kick this one off. Number six and number two, set to return. Here's the kick. Number six, takes from the 10. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're gonna look to do the same here. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. Number four comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Number one, the EA Sports and Old Spice say congratulations to our players of the game. Wake Forest lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. He's all the way down to the 43-yard line. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. The Tar Heel come out in the shotgun. He's going left. And it falls incomplete. Same pass play. Good defense that time. Second and ten. Ball on the 43. North Carolina sets up in the eye. He's looking. Throws to the middle. Found his man. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. North Carolina comes out with an eye formation. Throws this one out to the right. Someone got a hand on it. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. So it's second and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Number four lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. He catches another one. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. North Carolina takes a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. He drops back. He's going right. Incomplete pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. The Tar Heel line up with four wide outs. Drops back to pass, throws it to the outside. A great throw, and that's his second touchdown catch of the game. The quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass, and the receiver went out there and made the grab. Good communication there. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. North 
Carolina is lining up for the onside kick here. Here it goes. They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. They keep it on the ground with a tailback, and he's going to lose yards on this one. North Carolina calls a timeout. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 49. The Deacon line up in an I formation. He'll get it again. And down he goes at the 46. North Carolina takes a timeout. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 46. The Demon Deacon go with the I formation. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Offside. On defense. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. Third and five. Ball on the 41 yard line. ground with a tailback. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 81 gets it off. Number 23 signals for a fair catch. They'll down the punt at the 10. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? They've talked about the rivalry all week long and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. And we thank you kindly for participating in NCAA Football 2005. Our final tally in this game, Wake Forest 20, North Carolina 14.